Hello and welcome back again, viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olisi, the son of Tobe. Uh, I'm here back with the news uh, or the drama within Zimbabwe's mainstream opposition party, that is the Citizens Coalition for Change, led by advocate Nelson Chamisa. You'd know that uh, earlier this week, we had two reports uh, about the goings on within the party. A man uh, by the name Sengezo Chabangu, who claims to be the interim secretary general of the party, wrote uh, to the Speaker of Parliament, Advocate Jacob Mutenda, seeking the recall of more than 10 members of Triple C who were elected into Parliament. He also sought, strangely, to recall. In that same letter to the Speaker of Parliament, some triple C members who were elected into local authorities as councillors. So he sought to have the Speaker of Parliament um, recall them. Uh, he claims that he is the interim Secretary General of triple C. And as we said, so far, nobody has been publicly, at least, uh, introduced by the party as its secretary general but that doesn't mean that he might uh, not be that one can only be answered by the party so after he sought to recall these members he also finished the speaker of parliament with what he claims is uh, the constitution of the party you will also know that the constitution of triple c has not yet been made public but again it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist so we don't know as yet what the truth is around the party but what we know is that other than the president who is nelson chamisa and the two spokespersons that is uh promise mkwanas who is the mainstream uh, spoke uh, with the national spokesperson rather and his deputy gift ostalo sisiba we have not yet been publicly told who else has a position in the party with his president declaring a number of times that the party doesn't have any positions we don't know how it's operating but that is none of our business so this uh Sengezo Chabang wrote to the speaker of parliament we are yet to hear what the response from the speaker of parliament is going to be but soon after that we got also another letter that we also reported on from mr Siziba, that is gift or stalos Siziba, who we know as the deputy national spokesperson of triple c saying that the recalls must be or the letter purporting to be recalling members of triple c on the basis that or on the allegations that they are no longer members of the party or that they have ceased to be members of the party should be ignored and dismissed with the contempt it deserves so uh Ostalos also in his letter claimed that this thing is a doesn't even exist as a member of the triple c he says that as we had already reported again on the same day that is two days ago that uh Sengezo is last known to be a member of, of the mtc t and p d p which was led by uh mr tendai bt uh, by mr tendai bt so you will know that BT is now a member of Triple C, as is uh, the other members of PTP. So we don't know for sure if Sengezo Chabang was one of the members or was among the members who led, uh, who joined uh, the MTC Alliance first and then Triple C after. Uh, Chamisa lost the MTC alliance to Douglas Monzora. So what we are told is that Chabang is not, has never been a member of Triple C. He has hit back with a letter, uh, but before that he had interviews in Bulawayo or in Zimbabwe rather, saying that whoever claims that he is not a member of Triple C should take him to court or those that are dismissing his letter of recalls uh, of triple c members that he says have ceased to be members of triple c should take him to court and he's vowing that he's going to win that case because he claims to be what he claims to be or what he claimed to be in his 
letter to advocate Mutenda. So we're going to read the letter that he wrote just recently uh, in response to Ostalo's statement. Just to keep you updated, uh, we will start with the letter that Chabang is responding to, which was written by Gift Ostalo Siziba. Uh, it was written on the 4th of October 2023. It's in the form of a press statement. Uh, it has come to the attention of the Citizens Coalition for Change that there are letters purportedly written by a person designating himself as Interim Secretary General circulating on social media claiming that the Citizens Movement has recalled named councillors and members of parliament. Members of the public are advised to disregard these with the contempt they deserve. The Triple C party has neither recalled nor does it intend to recall any of its recently elected deployees. The purported author of the two letters, Sengezo Chawang, is not and has never been a member or official of the Triple C party since its inception. His last known parties are MTCT and PTP. He is renowned for being the proxy for fielding fake triple C double candidates in Bulawayo and Matepeleland North. The citizens' movement is taking action against this imposter and all his contacts. This deplorable behavior by Zanu PF is a response to their defeat in 2023 and rejection by Zimbabwe and a pathetic attempt to respond to the exercise of our freedom of association in not attending the official opening of parliament yesterday, that is 3 October 2023. Meanwhile, our deployees in local authorities and parliament should continue to discharge their responsibilities as mandated by the electorate in the just ended elections. Gift Ostalo Siziba, Triple C Communications. So that's the letter from uh, Mr. Gift Ostalo Siziba, which Chabang has now hit back uh, on. And we're going to read next Chabang's letter in response to this letter written by Ostalo Siziba. Chabangu's letter again is also um, dated 4th October 2023 and it's from the Office of Secretary General. It's also in the form of a press statement for immediate release. It goes, Ostalo's Ziva statement is self-serving and seeks to perpetuate undemocratic malpractices. As the party engages on this noble journey to cleanse itself of undesirable elements and practices, it is disappointing to note some unscrupulous individuals continue to create confusion to the general public, rendering themselves authority to mislead party members and dragging the party into disrepute. The statement by Gift Ostalos Ziva is regrettable. Ostalos was together with a small group of misguided elements responsible for manipulating the candidate selection process, undermining internal party democracy. This small self-appointment group of party members were responsible for the, for the mess which the party seeks to correct now. As Triple C, we value the voice of our members and their choice of leaders at various levels. Inclusive participation in party and national processes in the whole, is the hallmark of democracy. Ostalos and his self-appointed friends put aside the list of democratic party candidates as announced by Citizens Candidates Independent Selection Panel, CISP, CISP, the body responsible for independent candidate selection on the 18th of June, 2023. They replaced these popular and legitimate candidates with their girlfriends, family members, and virtually anybody who beat highest price for inclusion to this closely knit group of corrupt and now filthy rich individuals. Ostalos and his now illicitly filthy rich group of friends should be warned that we are coming for them. 
we are determined to restore democracy in the party with the same vigor that we seek to bring about democracy in Zimbabwe and indeed in Africa. No matter the selfish interest of this small group of individuals, the legitimate candidates announced by CISP will prevail. Beyond this, this party shall remain its standing as a vehicle, shall regain rather its standing as a vehicle for fighting for democracy in Zimbabwe and Africa. Through a Congress, party leaders will be selected in due course and the party constitution shall be adhered to yours faithfully, Sengezo Chawangu, Interim Secretary General. So as you can see, there is a back and forth that people now are being tossed around by these uh, so-called officials of C. We don't know where this is going to take us, but fears abound that the party might be headed for a split amid a drama that is uh just uh is what we saw happen to the mtc alliance you will remember that the mtc alliance ended up having to go to court and advocate chamisa lost it to douglas monzora or first to tozani kupe then douglas monzora and they ended up having to go to congress and we know what happened to the mtc alliance now as it as it stands that party no longer exists so fears are bound that the same uh is going to visit triple c if these internal scruples are not addressed as soon as possible but what we foresee also is this matter failing at parliamentary level but also going straight to court where it's going to likely get messy we are going to continue updating you. We're going to also have interviews with officials of Triple C from both these warring factions to try and get to the root of this matter. And before we do that, or as we approach such a stage, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. And if you also want to have a say in this, if you're a Triple C member or a political analyst or a supporter of the party, Please get in touch if you would want to say your uh, your worth or your voice worth in as far as this issue is concerned. Thank you very much. Enjoy your weekend.